Hey everybody, welcome to another iOS development tutorial. This is going to end up being a quick tip uh, rather than a full-fledged tutorial. And what I want to talk about here is something called badges in iOS. So I've got the iPhone simulator up on screen and you'll notice that there's two icons um, in my simulator one of which um, has this little number next to it. So this little number notification is what you call a badge in iOS. They're a super handy way of drawing your user's attention to your application um, and usually symbolize something that has not been read by the user. Uh, you typically see these in things like the mail application. So if you've got an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPod Touch, and you've got the mail application set up, if the mail application pulls some new email that you haven't read uh, by opening up the application, uh, it will typically display this particular badge or sort of a count of those items that you haven't looked at. Um, it's actually pretty easy to implement this within iOS, so let's take a look at just how you can do that. I've got um, a simple application that I've just set up. It is a single view based application. I've not added a single line of code to it yet. Um, so if you want to go ahead and set that up, uh, you can just follow along. Um, what I'm going to do from here is add a notification or uh, rather um, to use the correct term, I'm going to add a badge to this particular application. Um, and what I will do is I'll go ahead and run this so you can see that you know I don't have the badge at this point. Let me go ahead and stop this so you can actually see the simulator. And here we go. So this was the second application uh, that was on the screen earlier and you'll see that it has no badges like the uh, application on the left. So to add a badge, uh, all we have to do is we can come into any one of our implementation files and uh, let's say here for example, I'm just gonna say display badge. And like I said, displaying a badge is easy. You just say UI application, you call the shared application method and then just say application icon badge number and then you just set that to an integer value. So you can just say five, for example, if we build and run this application, you should uh, see that we now have a, um, I'll try and help the simulator onto the screen here. We should now have a badge five, right? So let's go here. Notice that it now has five, so this would uh, symbolize or indicate to the user that we want them to look at something. Now let's try something um, interesting because I want to point this out as well. I'm going to go ahead and comment out this code and now build and run the application so we no longer are setting that particular value and I'm going to stop the app and let's take a look at what the icon looks like. Aha! It still says 5 and this is because once you've set this particular value you actually have to let's say unset it or reduce that count for it to go away. So if you've got some kind of an application where you are intending to use badges, uh, let's say you've got a view controller that reads a or calls a web service to get a listing of upcoming events, uh, and this is essentially what I'm doing in my app, um, and you get um, a count of events that are in the future, and uh, you display that through a, um, a badge, what you may want to do then is if that web service were to not return any values, that is there's no upcoming events, you will actually want to reset this badge number um, count. So you, what you'll want to do is essentially set this back to zero and then if we build and run the application now, you will see that we no longer have a badge here. So that's sort of the key thing. Displaying it is super easy, but you have to remember to set that count back to zero to um, essentially take that away. So I hope this is helpful. As you can see, very easy to implement um, and can be a great addition uh, to your application. Thanks for watching.